Hello, my name is Ricardo Cadena with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video is about administration of Avaya Aura Session Border Controller SNMP traps. The Avaya Aura Session Border Controller enables the ability to configure the SNMP traps that will be sent by the SBC. The primary list of available SNMP traps are organized into categories. The System Platform Template Installation Wizard automatically enables a number of categories, the specifics of which are release dependent. For release 6.0.3, instead of having all traps associated with a category always being sent to a trap target or destination, you also have the capability to designate the specific trap sent within a category. We will review how to enable a trap category or trap filter as it's actually designated in the configuration as well as how to enable specific traps. The trap categories and associated traps may be viewed from the web browser or command line interface. From the CLI you may execute the show trap categories command. In the web browser, once authenticated, select the status tab. In the status tab, Select alphabetically from the display drop-down. Expand status. Find and click trap categories. Once the trap categories and traps are shown in the object pane, select verbose from the view drop-down. You are presented with a description of each trap. We will start our administration by adding a trap filter. This can be performed in the web or CLI. In our example, we will use the web interface and add the TLS trap filter. Once authenticating to the web interface, select the Configuration tab. Under Cluster, expand the box configuration object. Expand the ETH0 interface which is used for management and enterprise SIP and media traffic. When you expand the IP inside object, you will see a list of the objects already configured. Select SNMP. The SNMP related parameters appear in the object pane. The trap filter section shows the categories already configured. To add or edit the list, click the Edit Trap Filter link. The available filters are shown. You can deselect checkboxes to remove filters. We will select the TLS checkbox. Click the OK button to confirm the configuration. You are returned to the SNMP Parameters page. The Trap Filter section has been updated. When administration is complete, click the Configuration menu in the left navigation pane. Choose the Update and Save Configuration option. Click OK to update the live or running configuration. Then click OK to update the saved configuration. You receive confirmation that the configuration was updated and saved. We will now enable the sending of specific traps. Again, this capability is only available in the 6.0.3 release and is only available in the CLI. Once authenticating to the CLI with a user account that allows config and CLI permissions, navigate to the SNMP object using the config box interface E0 IP inside SNMP command. Show command output includes all of the currently enabled trap categories and traps. Trap categories are indicated by trap filter entries. Traps are indicated by the trap filter hyphen filter name entries. If only the trap filter is enabled, all traps associated with the category are sent. 
Once one or more specific traps have been configured, only the administered traps are sent as long as the category is enabled in the Trap Filter section. At the moment, since only the TLS Trap Filter is enabled, all of the traps indicated in the trap categories would be sent. We will enable only the TLS Trap Filter traps configured by default as part of the SBC template installation. These are Cert Expired, Cert Expiring, and Cert Missing. Entering Set Trap Filter TLS question mark will show the configurable traps. We will enter the Set Trap Filter TLS Cert Expired, Set Trap Filter TLS Cert Expiring, and Set Trap Filter TLS Cert Missing commands consecutively. Entering the Show command confirms that the traps are configured. Again, as long as the category is enabled in the Trap Filter section, the specific traps will be sent. Once administration is complete, enter Commit to update the live or running configuration. Then enter the Save command to update the saved configuration. For more information on administration specific to SNMP, refer to the Avaya or a Session Border Controller Objects and Properties Reference Guide. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.